Stitch Gang. Welcome and welcome back to another day of Stitchmas. Today is Stitchmas Day, girl. I don't even, I'm not even gonna lie. I don't even know what today is. Stitchmas Day 17. Today is Stitchmas Day 17. I had to laugh because I had to look at the calendar because the days have been flying by. But today is Stitchmas Day 17. And in today's video, I'm bringing you guys a try on haul, specifically a Nasty Gal slash Primark Primark try on haul. So if you guys are interested, definitely stay tuned. Make sure you leave this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. That's that she's uploading for 25 days straight. And they need to be here for every single day. And don't forget to also follow me on Instagram at the Stitch Life. So I guess we can address today's look. This is like day four twist out updo situation i did retwist my hair last night i showed you guys how i retwist my hair for a high puff so i'll go ahead and leave that video up above and i also just did a quick look with my um l fellow glow and my dior face and body foundation and then for lippy i'm wearing the pat mcgrath lip gloss this is the shade for real y'all need to pick this up it comes in a duo and it's at a good price so i'll leave all the look details down below and my earrings are old i don't even know where i got them from turtleneck is my mom she gave it to me a couple of years ago so, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and get into this haul. So, I'm going to be trying all these pieces with you guys that I got from Nasty Gal and Primark. I think it's Primark. Y'all let me know down below. Quick backstory. I ordered some stuff from Nasty Gal during their Black Friday sale. I know we're a, little, we're a little late. But a lot of these items are still on the site. So, I'll leave them linked down below. And I'll also leave my sizes down below as well. And then my mom recently came back from London. My grandmother lives in London. And when she was there, she told me she was going to stop into Primark. And I was like, okay, let me just go online real quick, see what they got. Over in the UK stores, I sent her a couple of things and she was able to find some of the items. So I'll be sharing the items that she brought home for me with you guys as well. If I can find links to those, I'll leave them like... <laughs> My light just died. And why did I think the light was charged? We moved. I shifted us a little bit. Lighting, she died. So ain't nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry. I about that. Very unprofessional. But... My other light is not charged, so we just go have to do make it do it to do natural light. But I moved over a little bit just so you guys to see the pieces as I talk about each one of them. So let's go ahead and start, shall we? We're gonna be starting with Nasty Gal. So I've been shopping with Nasty Gal. I've been shopping on Nasty Gal for years, literally since before college. I was shopping with Nasty Gal, I think, since high school because I remember buying a pair of shoes from them for my J. Cole concert in high school. So yeah, I've been shopping with them for a while. So as I mentioned, I recently got some pieces. The first thing that I'm sharing with you guys today is actually this sequin zebra skirt. Love, love, love this skirt. The sequins caught my eye, but the zebra pattern really sold me, to be honest. It fits perfectly, very, very comfortable. And I think this would be like a really cute skirt for New Year's. That's honestly why I picked it up. Where I'm going for New Year's, I have no idea. But I thought this would be a really cute skirt for New Year's. And I feel like this can also work for a dinner date as well. But again, it fits really nicely on the body. It has a zip at the back. So there is some ease when it comes to taking it off and putting it on. But overall, I really like this skirt. Very, very cute. They did have a few more pieces with this pattern on the site. I saw a dress. I saw a blazer. There are some other options. If you're not feeling the skirt, you wanted something else with this pattern, it is on the site. So I'll leave that down below. Next up is this pair of cargo pants. So I saw these cargo pants and I was like, hmm, should I get them? I've been really wanting a new pair of cargo pants. And I saw these on Nasty Gal. I didn't realize these were like a wide boot cut style, but I love the color of this style, of this cargo. I feel like sometimes I see a style that I like, but, but the army fatigue is kind of off. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's like a little bit too bright. I don't know. I can't explain it, but I wanted that true army fatigue look. These do fit my waist very well, but I'm just kind of scared that I might gain weight and I might not be able to get my wares out of it. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. Comment down below and let me know if I should. A lot of you guys know that I recently picked up a pair of cargo pants at the thrift store. If you watch one of my most recent vlogmas videos but I feel like it'd be good to have one wide leg slash boot cut which is this one and then the other one that I recently picked up those have the strings at the bottom but let me know should I keep them or should I return them the next thing that I picked up was this pajama set I saw this on Nasty Gal and I was like oh my god this has to come home with me it has to come home with me the pattern caught my eye once I realized it was a set I was like oh yeah sold love sets because it takes the work out of creating an outfit because you already have a top and the bottom a top and a bottom all you have to do is accessorize and find a pair of shoes so once I saw these i knew they were coming home with me i immediately added them to my cart now i will note that these pants do not have any pockets 
but I guess it's because you should be sleeping in them, not wearing them outside. But I can't guarantee that I'm just going to be sleeping in these. I could see myself wearing these on vacation. I could see myself wearing this to brunch. I could see myself dressing this up, dressing this down. So I can't guarantee that I'm only going to sleep in them. Pants do have a stretchy waistband, so I do like that. And the top is a three-quarter sleeve length. But this might be my favorite item that I picked up from Nasty Gal in this video. So now we're going to go ahead and jump into Primark. Primark. Again, comment down below and let me know how y'all pronounce it. I think it's Primark. That's what my mom was saying. So this is actually my very first time owning anything from Primark because if you guys watch my Philly solo travel vlog, you guys know I stopped into Primark in Philly but I didn't see anything in there. The store was underwhelming in my opinion. But when I went on the, the UK store site, I saw a few things. That being said, I'm jumping into Primark but I am going to be showing you guys some boots that I picked up from Nasty Gal in this portion as well. So let's go ahead and start with the very first thing from Primark and it is this purple one shoulder sequin dress i saw this when my mother was actually in store she video called me she was showing me some of the items in the store and i was like wait a minute let me see that dress that's on this mannequin i told her to pick it up for me because it looked really really nice on the mannequin and i loved it even more when she brought it home so this is a bodycon sequin dress and come to think of it i don't really have any purple items in my closet but i saw this and again i had to have it it hugs the body very well and i like that one shoulder is out so that one armpit can breathe <laughs> So that one armpit can breathe. <laughs> this is low-key giving birthday dress vibes. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see if I pull it back out in March. But I really, really love this dress. So let's go ahead and jump into the next item. So next is this long sleeve zebra bustier. Love, 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 love the neckline. I love that it cinches the waist as well. And I feel like you could wear this top with a... I feel like you could wear this top with a ton of things. You could wear this top with jeans. You could wear it with a skirt. You could wear it with a skirt. You could wear it with the pants that I'm wearing it with right now. So endless looks can be curated with this one top. And I feel like you can accessorize zebra printed items with any statement color. My favorite being pink. You see how it looks with the metallic pink pant? Y'all see, see what I'm saying? You see where I'm coming from, right? I really, really like accessorizing zebra with colors. So it's my second zebra item in this haul. So that kind of says a lot, doesn't it? Okay, let's move on to the next thing. So next is this pink metallic pant if y'all know metallics are in right now not only have they been in for like the fall and stuff but they're also going to be popping off for the new year and when i saw this online i saw that it came in both a pink and a silver color now i did want the silver because i felt like the silver would have been a little bit more versatile but my mom only saw the pink so i was like okay just go ahead and get the pink because listen i need i need a pair so i did get this in a u.s size 4 i feel like a size 2 would have been a little bit better i wasn't sure if the size 2 would fit and i didn't know how and i didn't know if i would be able to return it or exchange it in a US Primark so we just went ahead and got the four now the four does fit the bum but I feel like on the leg it's a little bit big but your girl has kind of been gaining a little bit of weight so we might just be okay and this pant does have functional pockets so we love that definitely a plus but I feel like this can be worn so many different ways you can wear this with sneakers you can wear this with boots I feel like you could wear this with a graphic tee or a fancy top and it would still be a look I low-key feel like I could probably get a New Year's look out of this but again i don't know where i'm going for new year's so we'll just see but nonetheless i love this pant and now i'm going to share the two boots that i picked up from nasty gal with you guys so i did just put it on with this dress because i felt like that was that was the best way that you would be able to see the boot so i initially picked up the orange boot and then once the orange arrived i'm like okay let me just go ahead and pick up the pink because they were both on sale so the orange boots were 30 dollars on nasty gal's site during the sale and then when i went back on the site i realized that they marked down the pink pink boots for $25 and I'm like you can't beat boots for $25 thigh high boots rather for $25 so I had to pick these up I love the heel on these they're not too high definitely comfortable walking around the house and just doing this try on portion for you guys I shall see how they are outside once we actually touch the New York streets but they were comfortable in the house when I was doing the try on portion for you guys you already know that endless looks are coming with both these boots both the pink and the orange but let me know which pair is your favorite what color do you like more do you like the pink more or do you like the orange more down below in the comments and then the last thing that i got was an accessory from premark this was a pink beret my mom actually saw this and she was like i'm just gonna get it for you and i do love it it is 100 percent wool sometimes wool can be itchy so i'll let you guys know how this one feels on my head <laughs> but i'll most likely be wearing this with a wig or something like that so i probably won't have any issues with it but i do love the shade of pink very very versatile now i do wear my berets in new york city but i cannot wait to pop out to patty with my berets so this one is going to be in the stash for that day but those are all of the things that i have to share with you guys in today's video i hope you guys really really enjoyed comment down below and let me know what was your favorite piece let me know if you're going to be picking up anything that i shared in today's video again if i could find links to these items i'll leave them link i'll leave them down below nasty guy i know i can find some of the links pre-mark we'll see
okay fingers crossed fingers crossed fingers crossed if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to leave your girl a big thumbs up subscribe down below and tell a friend tell a friend tell a friend she's uploading for 25 days straight and don't forget to also follow me on instagram at the Stush life that's most likely where you will see these looks but you might actually see them in a vlog or two as well if i again i want to apologize about the light listen i thought it was charged and apparently it wasn't so i do apologize very unprofessional i know thank you guys so so much for stopping by and checking out stitchness day 17 i love you guys and until tomorrow until day 18 i'll see you guys all later bye guys